Ladies and gentlemen, that's a pretty interesting test. We have two cameras here, which are, in my opinion, very good. Both cameras are known to have perfectly di good dynamic range. That's the Lumix S5 and the Lumix S1H. I purchased the Lumix S5 because of the amazing dynamic range and low light capabilities. Then I purchased the Lumix S1H because of even better dynamic range and even better than uh, low light capabilities and some other reasons. I have a video about the reasons why I have the Lumix S1H here. Um, and I want to test now, that's the first time I, I, I used, that's the first time I did, I make this test, that's the V-Log comparison. We have here the uh, glorious good old OG Lumix S5 with the 24 to 70 millimeter f2.8 lens and we have the glorious Lumix S1H with the 16 to 35 millimeter lens here. The, the aperture and lens doesn't really matter in a V-Log comparison test because I film anyway in A mode without any ND filters here that I can compare these both V-Log modes. And in the screen does it already look very different. The Lumix S5 screen looks indeed a little bit darker. The Lumix S1H screen looks very brighter. I monitor both cameras with the in-camera uh, conversion LUT that converts the V-Log to Rec. 709. And yeah, I can say that the Lumix S1H looks very different than the Lumix S5. That's, that's interesting. Both cameras look very good in my opinion. Um, you can absolutely work with the Lumix S5. Um, if, you, if you need a Lumix S5 Mark II or S5 Mark II X, then get this camera. It's, it's amazing cameras. But um, in my opinion, can you also work with the Lumix S5? I mean, I worked, so I, I worked a week ago uh, with the Lumix S5. The, the client was completely fine and he, he was ultra happy with the footage. So. I don't know, maybe we never need a new camera, maybe we can all stick to one camera for the next 10 or 15 years and nobody will notice because 8K will never be a thing. You only need 10 bit, if you really know what you do, 8 bit is also okay. So I film most of the time in MP4, what do you do? Write it in the comments. <laughs> Next interesting test, ladies and gentlemen, we have now set both cameras to the Rec. 709 color profile. Um, one camera is again the Lumix S1H. Actually, if you somehow smart, you could guess which camera is the Lumix S1H because I'm holding this camera in my hand all the time and the one camera is on the tripod. So um, this is the Lumix S5 and this is the Lumix S1H. And we have a little bit different colors also so the screen looks very different i cannot show you the screens because i'm filming with both cameras but the screen in the lumix s1h looks a little bit different than the screen in the lumix s5 let me check white balance etc we have here exactly 5500 kelvin and we have here also 5500 kelvin and somehow looking both color profiles the, the screen looks very different that's interesting I don't know what it is, um, the, the Lumix S5 screen looks, looks a little bit richer, the colors are looking a little bit richer, the Lumix S1H screen looks a little bit more realistic, I don't know. That's so interesting to compare these cameras, um, that's, I think in the editing software will I not see so much of a difference because the, the screen in the Lumix S1H is a different screen than in the uh, S5. Yeah. Colors, ladies and gentlemen. Let me show you here this beautiful 6K 10 bit 25 FPS vlog image. Um, I think that looks amazing. It looks amazing on the screen. Um, the viewfinder in this camera is amazing. When you look through the viewfinder, I, I mostly never use the viewfinder because I have it rarely out of the cage. Normally it's in a big rig, um, but the viewfinder. Um, when you when you when you use it that looks amazing I can tell you that this viewfinder is amazing 
Um, it looks way better, way more crisp and finer than the Lumix S5 ones. Um, yeah, and the image is just amazing from this camera. I mean, look at this 6K. I mean, come on, 6K. Sometimes I used 6K in some projects, actually only for fun. I not had, I, 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 I didn't have a client yet that wanted a 6K footage because that uh, has a high uh, pixel density and mostly need uh, proxies and most clients don't want to use proxies. And yeah, that's, but it looks amazing. I like 6K and my editing machine can handle 6K. I have a secret editing project. I have a secret editing machine I cannot talk about yet. I have this project running since January, now is June, and it's a secret project. I work with a company. This company does magic software and you see here maybe the new uh, marketing employee or not really an employee, but uh, maybe I work with a magical marketing company together and maybe I have um, the strongest editing laptop in the world, which I can not talk about. Um, maybe you see here a YouTuber with a very little subscriber count, but I mean, I mean over 2000 people now. Uh, shout out to every single one of you that you watch a German guy um, ranting about cameras and talking about real world videography. And maybe you see a guy here which has actually an insane corporation. And then, yes, maybe there's more behind uh, Paul Jonak than you want to know, or you know. So thank you very much. That's 6K and yeah, see you in the next video.